Hi guys, my name is Merida Emmanuel and I am the CEO of Emitech Electronics and as you all know, I'm Solar God on TikTok, on YouTube, I'm Noel007. Don't forget, I'm your surest solar plug. So here we have 12 units of 500 watt solar panel. This installation was done in Eku Delta State. So here, like I said, we have 12 units of 500 watt, which will be generating 6 kilowatts of energy daily. You can see here, we have 6 units, while on the other side, we have uh, 6 units. So everything in total becomes 12 units, and that's uh, 6 kilowatts, because each of these solar panels is 500 watts. And one good thing about the solar panel, first I'll talk about the weight. It doesn't have much weight compared to other solar panels. Secondly, is the amount of energy this solar panel can generate. This solar panel was given at least 10 point something amps during the peak sun. So this is the best position we saw to install our solar panels. If you can see, this is where the sun is rising and the sun will set here. So in the morning, once it is six or seven, this six uh, unit of solar panel will first start, uh, you know, getting the sun because the intensity will be high on them. Then later, around 10, 11, 12, the intensity, that means the sun will come to the middle or the center. Then both solar panels should be generating the required energy. So I'll take you down to show you the amount of batteries we have there, the size of uh, the inverter, and tell you what and what this system can be powering. So down here, we have two units of 5.1 kilowatt LiPo 4 battery. This is 5.1. This also is 5.1 and we merge them in parallel. That gives us 10.2 kilowatts. Each of these is 24 volts. And aside this, we have the 5 kV inverter. Before I talk about the inverter and talk about what we experience here, I'll first talk about the battery. So this battery comes with an LED display to tell you the amount of energy you have left, to tell you the amount of current coming into the battery, and to tell you the amount of current discharging. It also tell you the temperature and the date. So all you have to do when the screen goes blank or goes to sleep mode, just press any of the button and it will light up. When you press any of the button, it's, it's now off. So the current coming from the solar charge controller because uh, your, your panel have to pass through the charge controller before coming to the battery. So our charge controller is releasing 41.4 amps coming to this battery right now. And uh, if you can see the battery voltage is 27.0 while the uh, uh, the capacity or the amount of battery left here is 151.7 amps per hour so this will display it will tell you the amount of energy you are consuming this place that is showing 41.6 uh, amps is the same place that will be showing you the amount of energy you are consuming for example if we start draining from the battery it will show a minus sign that means you are draining from the battery and not adding to the battery so and it also have a bluetooth communication device but unfortunately i tried to connect it to my phone uh it was i was told that the version of my phone that the bluetooth works with another version of phone so it couldn't work with my phone so you have to try and upgrade their bluetooth system so that somebody can easily access it from this phone or her phone then here we have a 5 kv uh 24 volt hybrid inverter can see it is your Apple brand. This comes with an inbuilt charge controller of 100 amps. And what I love about this uh, uh, about this uh, inverter is that the inbuilt charge controller actually does the energy conversion. Because what we are expecting from our solar panels are 60 to you know 70 amps. But at the end of the day, we we got around 90 to 100 amps coming to our battery. So with this amount of current coming from the solar panels. It will take our battery just three or four hours to get filled. And with this system, you don't have to tell your wife, go and put the fridge off, I want to on the pumping machine, or go and put the, uh, the washing machine off, I want to you know, pump uh, on the pumping machine. No, you can put on the washing machine and still put on your pumping machine at the same time, and it will still be charging. You will not be draining from the battery because we have about six kilowatts, that's 6,000 watts coming from our solar panel. And if you combine, combine your pump, with your washing machine, you might end up consuming maybe 2,000 watts or 1,000 something watts. So you still have extra 4,000 watts coming from you know, your solar panel to keep the system sustained. And this inverter, you can select either uh, solar priority or grid pr uh, priority. Solar priority means 
if you have excess coming from your solar panels, you will not be consuming from your battery, you will be consuming from the excesses coming from your solar panel. Right now, we have some amount of load working on this inverter, but if you can see from our battery, it shows that our battery is charging and not draining. Our battery is charging, not draining. Initially, it was 154, uh, sorry, 151 point something. Now it's 154 point something. So it means our battery is charging the excesses is now feeding the house so let's see the amount of load or the percent of load working from this uh 5 kv inverter so you can see we have 11 percent load that means the deep freezer is on some tvs are on and probably some fans so like i said earlier with this system you don't have to go and off your tv because you want to pump your water you can be watching your tv and still be pumping your water at the same time because we we oversize the solar panels too you know, charge the battery within a short period of time. And uh, the, the, the stuff we encounter with this inverter that I wanted to share with you is factory error. It's not from us. You can see our installation is neatly done. We installed our battery very well. We made sure we got the right measurement. We installed the inverter. But after everything, our inverter will work for some time and trip off. So we went up and down, trying to troubleshoot the system, check the house wiring, still we didn't uh, uh take note of what was going on until we, we came and look at the temperature whenever the inverter want to go off the temperature will be around 49 or 50 degrees celsius that means the temperature is too high so the inverter is shutting itself down because the fans were not working and that was a factory error not from us the installer so you know i've been into this system for longer i have to uh you know uncover the inverter and make sure i fix the fan right now everything is working fine. But initially to work for like 10, 15 minutes, it will trip off and then come back on like in another seconds. But right now we have solved that problem. So anytime you are doing an installation, you have to check whatever you are doing. Any, 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 any little thing or all the little things really matter. Because temperature, we, we were done with this installation since yesterday. But you can see we are still here, this is around 11. It was nine this morning we get to discover that temperature is actually the issue causing the same butter to go because the fan wasn't rolling but right now if you can hear the sound the fan is rolling so everything here is good to go like i said 10 kilowatt battery comes with five phase warranty this can buy your pumping machine your washing machine your deep freezer your tvs and in the afternoon you don't have to off the other load to on the other load you can on them at the same time and still have your energy uh coming from the solar panels very well here the usual stuff a DC breaker, an SPD, and you know adjustable voltage protector. With this adjustable uh, voltage protector, will tell you the amount of current coming from uh, the grid. It will also show you the voltage. And so these are the components of a complete 5 kV uh, system using 10 kilowatt life profile battery.